In this video tutorial, we're going to make a game with Upeli programming library. One of the goals of developing Upeli library was that first program must be very easy to do. When we open a new project from our templates, all the basic elements for building up the game are already there. Let's add our first element. Our player will be a spaceship, but at this point we're gonna make it a simple white ball. Another goal for Upeli was to have a physics engine built into the library. So let's add gravity. Now we lost the player. We must add borders to prevent the objects falling out of the screen. We'll also zoom our camera so that the level fills the whole screen. Now the player is bouncing, but I want to kick it up again. So we'll add a listener for the arrow up key and tell where to go when the key is pressed. We'll have the control help same time if we comment what is happening. Now this shows the event-driven design that was one of the goals for developing Ubeli library. This minimizes the need for control structures like conditionals and loops for the most simplest games. We'll have two parameters here, the object that we want to move and force vector. Now, in move player method, we can kick the ball to that direction. We'll also want to move to left and right, so we'll change the parameters. And then we'll also add a help key listener for key F1. As you can see, there are many places where we can bind maths and physics concepts. I think it's yet a bit boring game. I'd like to see some good galaxies and bad sombrero galaxies that we can kill. So we add a description of the playground as a string array. We put different letters to describe different objects. Then we ask the system to create tile map from our array and bind single tile characters to methods creating corresponding tile object. And then implement the methods that make the objects. Okay, let's see the game. I want to see a big bang when the player hits a sombrero. So in Upeli there are also events for handling collisions. Now we have a bang, but I want to see explosions also. So we need an explosion system that we must initialize and add to game and then call the explosion in the collision handler method. Let's also make the sombrero disappear when the player hits it. Now the background is still quite boring, so let's put there something more interesting. And instead of ball and rectangles, let's use proper pictures for player and the galaxies. So 